Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can get us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. And today I want to show you two telephones that have a very similar problem. They're related by an IC chip that has caused a problem in both telephones. And the one on the right is a GE four-line phone. And a sweet lady, Alicia, uh, has complained that this telephone has had no audio on the speakerphone option since day one. So from my understanding, it never had any audio on the speakerphone. And so um, that's uh, uh, related into an audio amplifier chip that is a TEA1094T and it's a 28 pin surface mount chip and then the telephone on the left here is sent in by Eddie from California and it had an electronic pulsating noise which was very aggravating when he would talk on the telephone I explained to Eddie that it sounded like to me an IC chip causing the pulsating noise and I also explained to Eddie that if we put test equipment to this IC after we troubleshoot it and there's a problem with that IC, the IC could go down and it sure did. Uh, the IC uh, did not survive the test procedures and so we are searching for a TEA1062 which is the little brother of uh, the phone to the right of us, the GE4 line telephone. So anyway, um, I want to show you a little bit about the chip that came out of the GE 4 line telephone. This is a, a surface mount IC and that gives you some kind of an ideal there with a magnifying glass. It's a very small chip. It has 28 legs. I have replaced uh, smaller chips and with many more legs but it takes a little bit of time and you, you just have to take um, uh, a lot of care because there's a lot of things that can go wrong with this chip uh, all these chips are static sensitive they're different types of logic and uh, there's so many of them it'd be hard to mention them all but anyway that gives you some kind of ideal um, of what the chip looks like and, and not only that, they are glued to the board. You probably can see some of this glue in the reflection here off the light. Um, there's a little trick to removing these. If you want to take some solder wick and lighten up some of the solder on the uh, pins, that's fine. You can do that, but don't try to just desolder the leg. It'll never work because it's a surface mount IC. There's a trick here. And yes, I was a bad boy. Uh, I got in mom's sewing kit and I got myself out a, a nice safety pin here and what you want to do is you want to um, use a very fine point soldering iron um, and I'll show you that in a second and you want to do each one of these legs individually you want to pick them up off the board so you just work your way down and that's the way you do it I've seen guys try to desolder these legs and, and tear up the traces and the legs. Now you don't have to worry about the legs on this chip so much because um, it's a bad chip but if you're not careful you're, you'll tear up the traces and you don't want that because then you got to repair, repair the traces and the soldering iron that you're going to be using for something like that is a very fine point soldering uh, iron and um, I've seen guys tear up things with these little soldering irons with fine points on them too so uh, it's just something that you have to take your time at and if you're gonna replace a chip like this uh, take a junk piece of electronics and remove a couple of chips uh, before you start and um, and get a little practice but uh, that gives you some kind of idea about how small it is uh, the chip itself is not actually all that small it's just the pins they're, they're very small and um, the, you can bend them and break them right off so it, it takes a lot of time to try to remove one of these chips and 
to re-solder one back on is uh, kind of a nightmare too. But anyway, uh, that was replaced in this GE four-line phone. And here I'm going to go ahead and access the line now. And you can hear that it has volume or audio on the speakerphone. Hang up. So this telephone is basically repaired now and um, the chip was the problem. Uh, uh, if I can get this around here a little bit, I'll try to show you where we soldered the chip on at the board. And this is the chip that was replaced. It's probably going to be pretty difficult to see, but that might help you a little bit. So it all worked out, and the telephone is repaired now. Um, in the case of this telephone, Eddie's, um, we're searching for a TEA 1062, and they're pretty difficult to find. I was just lucky enough to have that one in stock. Uh, the flat pack for the four line GE but that gives you some kind of ideal this is a regular IC chip it's a 14 pin and um, it's a, not a surface mount it's a 14 pin regular IC chip and um, these are generally replaced very easily but uh, the problem is, is finding the chip so we're searching that down uh, I have a flat pack chip that has a similar number to it and uh, I want to pull the data sheet on the uh, two chips, the one that's in this, the 1062, and the one that I found that's a 1062 with a couple of numbers on the end of it, but it's a surface mount material. Uh, if the data sheet comes out to be the same on the pins, um, I probably could go ahead and put the flat pack or surface mount IC chip on this board and run some traces over to the solder holes and solder traces and repair the telephone that way. But anyway, uh, that just gives you a little bit of insight um, of what it looks like or, or takes to repair a chip and sometimes you just gotta have little uh, tools you know to do certain jobs and there's tricks to certain things. Um, these legs would never come up off the board just with solder wick and uh, you would tear it up otherwise you have to use a little pen and I'll get that back in mom's sewing kit here pretty soon. But uh, anyway, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can get us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.